Oh, welcome to part 8 of the HMS Wood 1350 scale build. Um, at the moment, I'm up to doing some of the photo etch. And uh, as you can see here, it's, uh, it's one reasonable size piece that I had to cut, sand off all the mouldings, which there wasn't many. Just the original door that was on there piece down here and glue this on um, I ran into a problem when I found that the metal edge was just slightly well it didn't line up with the holes now there's some holes here that I obviously used that something's got to connect through there's some pieces that will go on the side of that wall there and the rest were portholes. None of those portholes, I don't know if you can see there, um, line up with the actual portholes that are in the plastic. Nothing I could do about that. Um, I don't have the equipment to drill through metal edge. Uh, to line them up, oh, well, sorry, what I mean is I'm going to be able to possibly drill through holes where they are there in the metal so we do have some portholes uh, the door was a separate piece that was stuck on there yeah, there was an option to have it open or closed I chose to have it closed because it's one less thing that could get bumped off uh, that's the other side I think they will attach somehow like this there's a piece that I'm working on now a door on there that I'll remove and that door that's there will go on there and that will be that part completed which is that section there uh, there's also that notch in the top there you see that so I don't know I haven't checked what actually sits in there or what's going to connect to there but look at the metal piece um, yeah that there's the notch in the plastic but it's missing from the metal photo edge and that's on both sides so I'll go and have a look and see what's going to connect to there it's just going to have to be modified in some way but that's a bit of a fault, fault in the metal edge design for that piece. Um, so other than that, uh, most of those pieces will connect onto here. That's part of this section here. I think that's the right way. Maybe it goes that way. Anyway, figure it out. So that will go on to there. Um, later on, I think I'll be working through what comes off here. All the um, boat um, brackets will all come off, although I don't think they all come off, some stay for some reason, not all of them come off. Um, yeah, so I'll get on with finishing off this section here, and uh, be back shortly. Okay. Uh, managed to get these photo edge pieces all finished on these walls here near the door there's a bin or basket of some sort there there's another piece here sitting on a couple of hooks there's some pipes running along here so that's all being installed this is all ready to paint now so i'll go give it the photo edge primer shot and then uh Give it a couple of hours and put the base coat on. 
um, be back I might continue uh, seeing if I can actually fit this on or if that's too early yet I'm not too sure I'll check the instructions okay be back in a sec okay so I'm uh, working on the deck here just putting all the little pieces did like I did on the on the front and um, while well, the instructions are quite um, clear showing where everything goes which is really good I have to compare that to the photo etch instructions and what I was doing was these, these don't go in any particular order um, so when you look at the deck that I'm doing now crossing that off as I go that's it yeah, that's it there so all these pieces are being put on now and then I just happen to turn over the page and then this one which is all about the center deck which I haven't started on yet um, there's this piece so we've got this E30 down here just in the corner totally not related at all to the areas they're showing on there turns out that it's from the front deck and it's one of these little must be like air vents to go up the size of the side of the turret here and look carefully so there's six of those and they all go on there on there and each piece each one has just one little square of grill put on the photo edge now if i hadn't have just clicked over the page and recognized the shape of that piece there i would i would have missed that completely so the instructions for the edard photo edge for this kit many times are quite random for instance there's only one there so there's a picture of one so it doesn't tell you that you need to make six because there's six of them um, same when I was doing uh, another part of the, um, the top deck that I've, I've started on uh, there's a little uh, like a box with a little thing above it and that's it there so that's all this part here and if you look at the numbers or the little hooks that it sits on up against the wall it'll tell you number 222 number 220 219 well they're all wrong um, because if you went by this the folds are the wrong way around so you'd be actually installing them on backwards so those numbers are back to front so yeah it's it's very um time consuming when you've got to check every little thing you're doing multiple times uh, mainly because of the fact that a lot of it's to do with the fact that I'm putting a wooden deck on if I wasn't putting the wooden deck on that's, this whole thing's great it's not a problem if you just put it all together spray it all grey but I can't do that because of the wooden deck so all these individual parts have to be all done separately and sprayed away from the deck as I as I build it up uh, which means all these little pieces I can't miss any otherwise it makes it very hard later to go back and go oh where'd that come from that's what that is all I didn't know that goes there so uh, yeah it's a little bit unusual um, I also found on the metal photo edge where they had that little uh, this that's painting that painted now and drying where there's that little notch well apparently off that there's a little piece of plastic that sits off there and there's like a little stairway platform on there well because the photo edge didn't come with that notch in it there I've got no way of putting that stairway in well 
I don't know if I can. I I may be able to still connect it. Um, but no, no, I can't because what's the point? It goes nowhere. So it's a stairway to nowhere. So yeah, uh, little things like that. But you know that that's what we're dealing with when you do get the extra detail sets. You, you got to expect that um, there's going to be some difficult difficult spots. And, uh, this certainly has them. <laughs> Not only that, it's the size as well. The 1350 scale, everything is so much smaller. I mean, look at these vents, you know, the vents for that thing are just, there's a few size comparison. So there's three more I've got to put on there. They're just minute. And they're not the smallest pieces. There's, there's pieces a quarter of that size ones here. So, yeah, it pays to have uh, either good eyes or a good set of magnifying glasses. Uh, without these, there's no way, no way in the world I could do a 1350 scale ship. <laughs> so anyway, I'll plot on and, uh, now that I've found the photo edge for these and I'll uh, put these aside and give them a coat of paint and then come back and uh, be able to put them all on. Um, I've also put on all the little extra pieces that are needed to go on this deck here, which will need painting. They're too small to use the airbrush on, so I'll just use the brush to touch them up, like I did with the rear, so that was no problem. Okay, so back shortly. Okay, so here I've um, managed to get the stairs on. So there's one little platform that sits out of there and the stairs run down. There's another one next to it I've still got to build. I've done the platform on the other side. Sitting just, just in here. Um, but what's happened is all the railings part of that platform just snapped. They just broke. They're just too fragile too tiny. Um, most of them were already snapped on the sprue before I even touched them. So it's taken me <laughs> a good two hours to just get that far uh, because I had to bend the platforms which was fine and bend up the railings that I could. Um, but then once I glued it on then I had to very carefully attach the other railings on there which is tiny tiny so the rest will take me the rest of the afternoon and i'll hopefully get those ones done i'm gonna have to paint them on there uh, with a nice with a paintbrush because they're just too delicate and then uh that'll be it that's about it for this video um thanks for watching and uh yeah, if you want to subscribe and get notified of the next part 8, I think it'll be. I think we're at, well, we're at part 8 now. Part 9. Uh, when that one comes out, um, if you like the video, like. If you want to comment, comment. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye now.